Hello everyone clinicians and welcome to another Friday question session. Today's question is about the size of access opening in molars. What is the right size? Should it be micro or should it be macro? Okay, this is a question that comes up quite a bit on the website. What is the proper access opening and the size of the axis opening. Kind of reminds me of a Dr. Herb Schilder quote. When in a lecture presentation, he was showing an axis opening and somebody in the audience raised his hand and said, um, Dr. Schilder, anybody can do a root canal through that size axis opening. And his answer was, exactly. Well, the point is that axis opening is supposed to allow you to do a good job doing your cleaning and shaping in the root canal. However, at the same time, there is an extreme end in which you can remove too much tooth structure unnecessarily and as a result actually weaken the tooth. Therefore, how do we find this right balance between removing just enough tooth structure so that we can find all the canals and at the same time, um, you know, re don't remove any more in order to weaken the tooth. And this really goes back to the idea of finding straight line access to the apical one half of the tooth. And that can only be done by removing the dental triangle, which is the internal reflection of the external CEJ anatomy that creates this little uh, tightening right around the CEJ right before the RFS opening in a molar and prevents your, canal, your files from entering the root canal in a straight line fashion. It bends the files and there is a rule in endodontics that says instruments only bend once because every tooth has some kind of an apical curvature and if your files end up having to curve or bend before they enter the root canal they will have a far lower chance of being able to negotiate that inevitable uh, curvature that exists at the apical one-third of the root. So your goal really as um, endodontists and clinicians is to try to, pre uh, to create a straight line access to the lower half of the root so that your file comes in straight and at that point it will have the best chance possible in order to negotiate around those curvatures. And despite many uh, beautiful animations by various manufacturers to show all kinds of different, uh, you know, files doing all kinds of bends uh, to get down the apex, I think that still at this level of instrumentation, no matter what night tie metal is available, that rule of instruments only bending once still stands. Granted, they might be able to get around the S curve, but the torque value increases dramatically around the second curve. So your access opening should essentially be directed 